Well, let's just do a rehearsal. First things I want to do is understand what's the emotional spectrum. I'll find you, my love. What are the types of things that are going to be happening? For the Republic! Get your head down! One of my big roles is to capture that spirit, that experience that the game calls for. Let the project tell you what it wants to be. I don't really care about the tools. I care about what I want to say. When you're working for a video game or a television show or a film, you realize you're part of a process. <laughs> you feel that there's something that games have given to you that you can give back. Not you. Okay. What can I do today? What can I sacrifice today? Just to keep going. That's the energy and that's the drive that's going to see you through. I'm interested. Tell me more. Be part of something bigger. Contribute to the work that we do pushing game audio forward. It is always changing and always getting better. Welcome to the 16th Annual Game Audio Network Guild Award Show. Please welcome to the stage the president of the Game Audio Network Guild, Brian Schmidt. How's everybody doing? I love this crowd because every other crowd you have to ask that twice and then you get the real response the second time, right? Don't have to do that with this crowd. <laughs> Welcome to the 16th Annual Game Audio Network Guild Awards. Thank you all for coming tonight. Um, we have a little bit of change of stuff here. You should have received a ticket on your way in. Our sponsors are generous enough. They, they donate some prizes uh, for us. So hold on to that. We'll be giving that away actually during the show this year. So if you hear your number called, come on down. Uh, bottom of the stage here, and Savina will hand you uh, your uh, award certificate for, um, for whatever you've gotten. Also, it's time to check on your homework. Remember last year I asked everybody to, do, everybody to do some homework? How many people here have reached out to a local school and volunteered to talk about what you do? Reasonable amount. I did it. It was terrifying. Um, I regularly speak in front of 500, 500 of my closest uh, friends and colleagues here. Speaking in a classroom of 20 high school students was far more terrifying than that. Uh, but it is immensely rewarding. And we in this room, we're in the best position of anybody, pretty much anywhere, to demonstrate that game audio is replete with talented, hardworking, and diverse people. So please volunteer at your schools. Uh, make sure you point out that a lot, a very wide range of types of people are game audio professionals. It makes a really big difference. We're planting seeds. It's going to grow uh, as the decades go on. So, first of all, I would like to thank Panka Koniva for her original composition, Train to Moscone, which played during our, open, our opening videos. Panka here. Penka was inspired to write this piece by the BART ride from San Francisco Airport to here, the Moscone Center, the literal train to Moscow, train to Moscone. <laughs> oh. uh, don't make any Trump comments, thank you. Um, so we're here at GDC once again, where we share our knowledge and experience with each other. 
This is a complex industry. There are creative challenges, technical challenges. There are new technologies and new mediums, and we need to know and understand these things. Whether it's console or mobile or VR or AR or MR or XR or AV, MX, XX, R, R, V, R, A, M, R. Um, for better or worse, it's a fact of life that these technology issues directly impact what we do every day. That's what one of the things GDC is all about. Also, the business itself has its own set of challenges. With half or more of game audio jobs being freelance, we need to be business women and men. We need to learn marketing, branding, accounting. Are we, it should be an S Corp, should be an LLC. Some of our most popular sessions are about business contracts and music rights. That's all very important stuff. And of course, if you want to start a flame war on Facebook, just say whether or not, or why composers should or shouldn't work for free. And you'll get a discussion that's way more in depth than any discussion of the use of instrumentation and themes in Gunman Taco Truck or Star Wars Battlefront 2. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure none of us would really want to know what Facebook's algorithm thinks of all these things that we talk about on Facebook. Um, so game audio has all these really fascinating facets and it's easy to get caught up in them. But that's not what we're here for tonight. Because at the end of the day, we create music and sound and VO. We use the, our lifetimes of artistic training and practice to create sound and music that move people, that inform people, and that entertain people. That's why we do this. The medium or methods or technologies or business models are coming and going, they'll change. But those are all secondary to who we are. We are composers, we are sound designers, we're musicians, we're VO specialists, we're audio technical people. And just like Panka sitting on BART on the way to GDC, we find inspiration that drives us. We sit alone or stand with our teams and we create. We work, we rework, and we, wor we rework again because putting something out that is good enough simply isn't good enough. Our inspiration drives us to create things that are truly exceptional. On our own train to, our own train to Moscow, Moscone next year starts right here in this room tonight as we recognize the work of our peers who have found inspiration and worked up the perspiration to create exceptional work in game music, sound design, technology, and VO, and who in turn inspire us in our careers. So with that, I would like to bring up your host for the evening, Game Audio Network Guild Vice President Becky Allen and Director of Social Media Bonnie Bogovich. to miss the memo about the hair. Yeah, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> we can get to you later. Enjoy the show. <laughs> Thanks, Thank you. It's great to be here. Uh, welcome to the show. Um, hello, ladies. <laughs> and gentlemen. Yeah. All right, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Oh my God, so this is my first time doing this. Uh, yeah. But it's not yours? No, it's, it's great to be back. This is my second time hosting. Fantastic, yeah. well, please go easy on me. A little bit nervous. <laughs> yeah, you know, these guys can be kind of intimidating, um, but I think I know a way we can loosen them up a little bit. Oh, really? Yeah, what do you got in mind? Well. Did you bring anything with you? Hmm. I always have a kazoo in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> a body classic. Oh, well, okay, I got an idea. We're gonna divide into groups. Group one. Group two. Group three. Yeah. Group four. Oh, yes, okay. I think group, group three is made up of Woo. like battle orcs or something. <laughs> Interesting. All right, group one. That's your note. Sing, gang, gang. Okay. Okay, great. We'll, we'll, we'll All right. work on it. It's okay. It'll be but, fine. But group two. <laughs> Gang. Think like a bell, like. Gung. Yeah, like a bell, like a bell. Good. We'll work on it. It's good. Okay. All right. Or three. <laughs> you probably knew the note. <laughs> All right, group four. Okay. All right. Okay. Ready?
Ready? We're going to do it fast. Ready? What was our bass note? OK, everybody got your note? We're going to do one, two, three, four. Oh, fantastic. Should we do it again? I think we need to do that again. One more time. Yeah. One more time. Again. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, everybody. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And that's how you start an audio award show. Right? That's how you start one, <laughs> Sean. Wherever you are. <laughs> the nominees for sound design for an indie game are Divinity, Original Sin 2. Hmm. Let the games begin. Hellblade, Senwa's Sacrifice. Monument Valley 2. Paranormal Activity, The Lost Soul. So let us melt. To present the award or for Best Sound Designer for Indie Game, we have Gerard Marino, composer. And the winner of Best Sound Design for an Indie Game, Hellblade! Uh, uh, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, it's, it's an honor it's a really a real honor being here among so many talented people. Um, one thing that Hellbit has been described uh, a few times has been indie triple A, and like there is like, a strong focus on the indie aspect. Like specifically for audio, it was literally just two people working on it. For the most part, it was only one person, uh, David Garcia, who unfortunately couldn't be here, but it's thanks to him that. Uh, Hellbait sounds the way it does, so I want you to please give a big round of applause for David Garcia and his great work. And thank you again. The nominees for Best Interactive Score are Call of Duty World War II. Destiny 2. Local units. Halo Wars 2. Double time. Easily done. Like a stone. Pyre. Correctly done. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Best Interactive Score presented by Rachel Robinson, second year gang um, member, one of last year's gang scholars. And the winner is... Call of Duty World War II. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is a tremendous honor. Thank you to Sledgehammer Games for giving us this wonderful opportunity to work in this franchise. And thanks especially 
to this PlayStation team, we have Sam Marshall and our lead music supervisor, Anthony Caruso. Thank you so much. And don't forget Ted. Ted rocks too. <laughs> Yeah, thanks, uh, Sledgehammer. What an awesome audio team. The quality bar there is just so freaking high that you have to kind of bring your best foot to the table. So that was awesome. And thanks to the, um, you know, the Sony Music Group. They rock. Thanks for keeping us, uh, keeping us busy with great projects. Thanks. The nominees for Best Game Audio Article, Publication, or Broadcast are... Musical scoring with sound effects in mind for Call of Duty World War II. Scoring Wolfenstein II with the Bachette Sonic Sculptures. Something old, something new. The musical influences of Monument Valley II. Steve Pardo, creating Rock Band VR. Yonder, The Cloud Catcher Chronicles, an audio development blog in two parts. Presenting the winner for best article publication or broadcast, we have Thomas Parrish, who is a DigiPen student. And the winner is, if I could get this open, uh, musical scoring with sound effects in mind for Call of Duty World War II. So this, this is really a Gamma Sutra Award. This is Chris Kerr, who wrote the article, asked some fantastic questions, and I had the opportunity to talk about the collaboration, the wonderful collaboration I had with Sledgehammer Games and our audio director and with Sony PlayStation. So thank you very much. So. Without Diamond Sponsors, we wouldn't really be here. They really support gang and especially this award show. So we would like to thank Cryware and invite Ray Nakazato, Executive Officer, Global Expansion Group, to the stage to accept his uh, thank you. We are very, very happy to be a sponsor again this year uh, for Gang and uh, a, a CRA team. Stand up. So we are kind of new to uh, North America, but uh, we are very, very looking forward to uh, working every one of you very soon. Thank you. The nominees for Best Audio Mix are Destiny 2. Halo Wars 2. Hellblade Senwa's Sacrifice. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Uncharted The Lost Legacy.
And to present for Best Audio Mix, we have uh, Neha Patel McGill. Uh, she's one of our gang scholars. The winner is Uncharted Lost Legacy. Okay, um, unexpected. What an amazing group of games. Uh, the mix category keeps getting stronger and stronger and it's, it's amazing what you guys create. You inspire us every single time. So uh, we're incredibly gracious and proud of the team. And uh, yeah, anyone else want to say anything? <laughs> Uh, just thank you to all our partners that we work with. Yes. Foremost Group is a huge part of our mix, just uh, as much as you know, we mix the game, they mix the cinematics, and it's an awesome partnership that we always value. And I uh, also want to thank our partners at, at Sony PD Music. They do an amazing job for us every time, um, providing just such awesome stuff. But uh, thank you to Gang, really appreciate it. It's awesome. The nominees for Best Original Soundtrack Album are Call of Duty World War II Horizon Zero Dawn Rhyme Seven, the days long gone. So let us melt. Presenting for best original soundtrack album is Brian Trifon from Finishing Move. And the winner is Call of Duty World War II. Wow, well, I would be remiss if I didn't give the most heartfelt thank you to the team at Nashville Music Scoring for performing so beautifully on this score. Thank you so much. Thank you. The nominees for Best Original Song are Mr. King Die House from Cuphead. The devil's right hand man. Fires of War from Middle Earth, Shadow of War. Hearthstone is home from Hearthstone. The taverns always filled with laughter. At firesides where heroes gather. Hearthstone is home. Legends Never Die from League of Legends. Jump Up Superstar from Super Mario Odyssey. Oof. All right, presenting for a best original song, we have Laura Taylor of Sound by Laura. And the award goes to Hearthstone is Home. Hearthstone. 
Um, so, big thank you to the Hearthstone team, um, our incredible composer Sam Carden, our director Jeremiah Johnson for giving us the opportunity to work on such a fun um, project for Blizzard. Do you have anything on uh, I didn't really do much on this uh, other than some sound design, but uh, thank you very much anyway. <laughs> The nominees for Best Original Choral Composition are Aloy's Theme from Horizon Zero Dawn. So Let Us Melt from So Let Us Melt. Honor and Glory from Overwatch. Last Rite from Destiny 2. Marion from Outcast, Second Outcast. Presenting for Best Original Choral Composition, Caleb Klumparens. He's a gang scholar and a student at DigiPen. And the winner is Horizon Zero Dawn. So um, uh, Horizon has been an incredible journey to be on. Um, the collaboration with the composers were incredible. This one is for Lucas van Tol, who was the music supervisor on the project, together with Joris, created the incredible score for it. I think, the, I think it's incredible. I'm glad <laughs> some of you agree. Um, uh, in especially Crowley, this one was the piece where we found a part of the identity of Horizon and one of the key struggles we had doing a new IP was um, finding out what game we're actually making. How does this feel? It took the longest time and this was one of the key puzzles pieces that really helped put some of that together. Thank you. Just to be sure, I have to mention Joris the Mom was the composer of this. I just thought, did I say that? Joris, Joris the Mom. <laughs> We'd like to thank another Diamond sponsor. Uh, this is a thank you to Spitfire. They're not able to be here tonight, but they have a lovely video for us to watch. Thank you, Spitfire. The nominees for Best Music for an Indie Game are Divinity, Original Sin 2 Gunman Taco Truck Potter So let us melt. Tiny Barbarian DX.
Wonder Worlds. And presenting for the best music for indie games, we have Laura Taylor, sound by Laura. And the award goes to So Let Us Melt. I'm not Jessica Curry, and nobody wishes she could be here more than me. <laughs> um, <laughs> but she did leave me with some wonderful things to say. She said, I just wanted to say a huge thank you for this award. The gang awards mean so much as they are voted for by the people who actually know what they're talking about. It's been such a strong and exciting year for indie games and for games music, and I'm incredibly honored to win this award. Congratulations to everyone here, and have a great night. The nominees for Best Dialogue are I, Cora, if you tell Destiny me 2. Joke, well, it kills me to say it, but I, I would be really impressed. Impressing you, Cade, is the easiest thing I'll do all day. You fought for Hellblade, spoiled. Senwa's Sacrifice. By your darkness, Redeemer. Now there's no way to win. Aloy of the North. Horizon Zero Dawn. There's a threat to us all. Men in masks, raising up ancient machines. Uncharted, The Lost Legacy. Sure. Thanks. Pattern's a little wide. You Get could... the head off me. Yeah. Wolfenstein 2. Yeah, I don't trust you, Blaskwitz. The new it's Colossus. The you couldn't be wearing a mask made to look like William J. Blaskwitz to hide your alien space lizard facial traits. Show me your lizard face, mother. Lower your weapon before I break your arm and put your lights out. Presenting for best dialogue, Molly Monahan. She's a gang scholar and at San Francisco Conservatory of Music. Yeah. And the winner goes to Uncharted, The Last Legacy. Wow, okay, again. <laughs> um, I wanna thank the, uh, first and foremost, the actors that we work with. They work very hard. The team at Naughty Dog, the dialogue team, is very, very passionate about trying to bring a really uh, complicated, sometimes not so complicated, story uh, in a way that is, uh, I don't know if, I'll just crash. Um, <laughs> <laughs> reboot. Um, now, we take dialogue very seriously, and uh, we try very hard to make sure that the stories are told um, you guys have something amazing to listen to and, and something to remember. And um, yeah, I want to thank our partners at Sony and Formosa and especially Gang for this opportunity. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I think that's good. And a shout out to our dialogue supervisor, oh. Maggot Ragab, and our dialogue uh, yeah. coordinator, uh, Grayson Stone. Yep. These guys, uh, it was their first project at Naughty Dog and they absolutely killed it, obviously. Yep, absolutely. Um, amazing work on those guys. Yep. Thank you.
that did the final half of the game's still composed to Thank you, Internet. <laughs> uh, the next two awards we have are a little bit different. Uh, we have the uh, Gang Distinguished Service Award. This is an award that is presented to somebody in gang who gives a lot to the gang community, helps facilitate the organization. Uh, the second award is the um, Gang Recognition Award, and that really is a community outreach where we as officers simply pick somebody who we think has done an excellent job in being an evangelist to the community, audio community, and the greater community at large. And so to present those awards, I'm going to have uh, our other new vice president, uh, Dave Morant, join Becky Allen to present those two awards. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> Hi, Vice President. Hi, Vice President. How are you? No, I'm all right. Okay, good. <laughs> Let's do this, eh? Should we do it? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to slow this thing down, torture you just a little bit. <laughs> now, uh, we both just joined gang. It's pretty exciting. Um, has some new things that we're bringing to the organization, and we're um, pretty excited to be a part of it. Yeah. I'm looking for you to help us make the organization better. So anybody who's out there who I can't see yeah. wants to step up and help us make Gang better, come and talk to us. Come and talk to us after the show. Yeah, we are here for you. Yeah. So without further ado, mm -hmm. uh, I'll read my little note. Uh, <laughs> since taking the role over as Northeast Regional Director last year, this individual has gone above and beyond the call of duty, spearheading numerous initiatives and proactively rallying the Northeast Gang community together. Gang is proud to present the Distinguished Service Award to Spencer Bambrick. Sadly, it looks as though Spencer is not here tonight, so really we'll sorry. send it to him in the post. Okay, that sounds good. All right. Miss so, Becky. Yes. <clears throat> Being that I'm not Spencer. <clears throat> the next award is the Gang Recognition Award, which Brian described as somebody who has given back to the community in a very significant way this year. And I'm really proud to be um, talking about this person and, and bringing her up here. She has helped um, spread the gospel of VR. She has done so much work in the community for Game SoundCon, for Gang. Uh, she has chaired our VR committee this year. I think you may know who you are now. And she uh, really has been dedicated and so giving, and she's so, uh, her activism uh, has really inspired so many. And I think also for women in the industry, she is a strong, model, and I am very proud to welcome Sally Ann Kellaway to the stage to receive this award. Um, hello, everyone. Um, I want to quickly do a thank you and then I have a little thing to say since I have a microphone and all of you are looking at me. Um, I want to thank very quickly, of course, um, the advocates that I've had uh, pulling me up and supporting me through everything that I've done. Um, and that includes the gang and all of the amazing people um, in the industry that have supported me since I decided I should look at games. Um, and I wanted to just quickly segue to deliver a little bit of a message to everyone since apparently I'm inspirational or something. Um, one of the things that I really want to help bring to the gang and to the whole industry is, is growth and moving forwards and um, just growth in general. <laughs> 
And I really do believe that the only way that that is possible is by supporting diversity in every way, shape and form that it exists. And that's not just because I'm a woman, that's because um, there are many ways that you can be diverse in an industry. So please bring how special you are to this organization and to this industry and just keep bringing it every day. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I'm excited about this next award. Uh, it, one of these things that just happens because somebody starts talking to somebody and somebody's like, boy, I had an idea for this and wow, maybe we could make this work. Um, how many people here are familiar with MAGFest? <laughs> Isn't I'm supposed to do like a primal scream thing? Is that how MAGFest works? Ready? Okay. Uh, so, Bonnie was at MAGFest this, uh, you know, a few months ago, and we were just talking about it randomly afterwards, and we got to thinking, you know, what sorts of, you know, again, we we're always looking to expand uh, the meaningfulness of the, the, gang award show, the gang awards, and it occurred to us we, we don't have an award that's sort of just whatever, anybody, whatever the people want, that's what they would get. And so we worked uh, together, we chatted with uh, the folks at MAGFest, uh, Nick Marinelli in particular, uh, who is here, and we decided let's have an award called the Gang MAGFest People's Choice Award. And it's just a simple open vote. Anybody can vote for anything, and we count them all up at the end, and that's what we did this year uh, with the Gang um, MAGFest People's Choice Award. So I'd like uh, to bring Nick up. Nick. <laughs> Welcome to the Gang Awards, Nick. How are you doing? Doing great, Brian. Thank you for the introduction. All right. Uh, MAGFest being a nonprofit dedicated largely uh, to the appreciation of video game music, it is honored to be able to partner with Gang for things like this. So We're so, super so happy you. to have you here. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, before I present the award, uh, I, I was asked to, to say a few words about what video game music means to, to me personally. Which is, which is a bit difficult to do in a, in a few words because uh, being that weird kid in elementary school who would uh, fall asleep, headphones on, plugged into the Genesis, listening to the end credits of Flashback, the quest for identity on loop. Yeah, you know the type. Uh, I, I, I tend to turn into a sobbing, sobbing, quivering, blubbering mess whenever anybody asks me that question because of the, the surge of emotion of, of my entire life that hits me at the same time. Uh, but uh, what, what, what I can say is that the, the, the video game music community has the most kind, talented, and passionate people that I have ever met. And thanks to that, that community, I've met many of my friends, I've met my heroes, and, and I've met my wife, who, uh, <laughs> who, who, who one day in class back in college stopped me and said, hey, are you a fan of Jake Vert Kaufman? And this is, this is back in the days before he was at the helm of, of, of Wayford and Min Potion. It was instead at the helm of the, the pharmacy counter at CVS. Uh, but uh, it's, it, is, it is truly humbling to, to, to be up here uh, and to be a part of MAGFest because it gives me a chance to give back to the video game music community and the art form as much as it has given to me during my life. Uh, and now with that schlock out of the way, uh, the People's Choice Award goes to Persona 5. <laughs> Magfest and gang happily accept this award on behalf of the Persona 5 Santa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, don't forget your phone. There's some great, if anybody needs envelope foley, I've been, li I've been listening to it all, uh, all evening. All right, uh, at this point, uh, I would like to, we're, we're going to 
uh, do the new thing we were talking about, I would like to bring up um, John Bird from Verantic to, for the first giveaway. So get your little numbers out. Where's John and Crystal? And where's the little virtual fishbowl? Oh, it's a real fishbowl. It's an actual fishbowl. All right, uh, John is the CEO of Gigantic, who makes the product um, Verantic. Yep. And you're giving away what? I am giving away a copy this evening of Verantic Studio. So what Verantic is, is you give it a few examples of some sound effects that you like, like footsteps or impact sounds, and it generates a probabilistic model of a sound. So every time you run that model, it generates a unique footstep or it generates a unique impact sound. So specifically, the Verantic Studio version of this technology is scriptable. So you can use it to generate entire content libraries, uh, and you can use it to, to, to generate basically as much content from a little bit as, as you might possibly need. So, so if this, I like have some tackle sounds from Newton Football League and I need like 20 different versions of it, I can just pop it through Verantic. If you have a handful cool. of them, yeah, then All you right. can generate 20 in seconds. Okay, so uh, this technology, uh, we're, we're giving away a one-year Verantic Studio license. It lists at $1,188. And the, the last three digits, and these are the last three digits on the ticket that you're gonna need to be looking for, are as follows. Brian? I can't read that either. <laughs> Do you have any younger people? Six, Six seven, one. Seven, one. Six, seven, one here. If you're here, stand up, right? Okay, we have it. Great. All right, come on down to the front. Thank you very much. Thanks, Brian. Thanks for being a sponsor of Gang. Uh, I would like now to bring up uh, Orpheus from Crotos. Is Orpheus here? Oh, yes. All right. Orphe is the president of Crotus, uh, makers of Dehumanizer and many other things. Uh, I like to say that the, when I got Dehumanizer 2, within 24 hours of me receiving it, it had paid for itself. Thank you um, very much. Yeah, it's great to be part of this amazing community. I want to say a big thank you to everyone because, uh, yeah, Dehumanizer started back in 2012 as a free project and through your help and support and feedback, we are now a company of 15 people. So, yeah, thank you very much for all your support. Um, so yeah, we're going to be giving away uh, Dehumanizer 2, Weaponizer, which is an only one solution for weapon sound design, and Reformer Pro, which allows you to perform any sound effect with your voice. So the winner is number, the last three digits, right? right? 292. 292. 292. <laughs> All right. The nominees for Best Sound Design in a Casual Social Game are Contra Returns. Hearthstone. Kobolds and Catacombs. One for all and all for me. The Last Sword. So let us melt. Super Beat Sports. And to present for the best sound design for casual game, it's Andrew Lippion. And the winner is... So let us melt. Jess and I covered this eventuality um, because I said, is there anyone else you'd like to thank? And she said, 
A huge thank you to Dan Pinchbeck, who always provides a wonderful amount of creative freedom to dream and whose total belief in me, both personally and professionally, keeps me going, and to the magnificent and talented Chinese room team. So thanks for Jess. The nominees for Best Music in a Casual Social Game are Club Penguin Island, Contra Returns, Crusaders of Light, Gunman Taco Truck, So let us melt. Presenting for best music for a casual game is Daniel Kim, student at Cal State Long Beach. And the winner is? So let us melt. I have a classical music radio show, and every time I play just this music, I just love telling people who've never heard game music for the first time that. This is from a game, and I know that Jess will just be over the moon for this. So thank you so much. The nominees for Best Cinematic Cutscene Audio are Call of Duty World War II. Halo Wars 2. Horizon Zero Dawn. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Agent Hask, I'm in position. Understood, Commander. Prepare for extraction. Three, two, one. Uncharted, The Lost Legacy. And to present for Best Cinematic Cutscene, we have Jason Hayes, Music Director of Riot Games. All right. Uh, and the winner is Uncharted, Lost Legacy. to wear this as a necklace? No. no. <laughs> All right, huge honor. Thank you, gang, and our partners at Sony and Naughty Dog. Uh, huge thank you to my partners in crime at Formosa Interactive, mixer Chad Bedell, and sound designers Patrick Ginn, Elliot Connors, and Joe Cavers. Thank you to Paul Lipson, and Last but not least, a very special thank you to Mr. Phil Kovats. I have had the pleasure of working with you over the last five years, and I have grown exponentially as a sound designer and a supervisor. Thank you for your leadership, your commitment, and lastly, all the late night laughs. <laughs> I'm gonna miss working together directly, but I'm excited to see where your career path takes you. So. Thank you. Um, uh, Shannon is one of the most 
amazing partners to work with. Um, she listens, she fights, she is a spectacular sound designer, she is incredibly passionate about the work and she loves the work. And we are so proud to have been working together from The Last of Us and onwards. So. And the team at Formosa has been fantastic with us. And I'd also like to do a special thank you to our creative director, Neil Druckmann, and the team at Naughty Dog who provide a lot of assets that go into the cinematics because um, a lot of the game sounds do uh, live through the game into the movies and beyond. And so we uh, try to create a seamless experience between the gameplay into the cinematics and back again so it never breaks up. So thank you, everybody. The nominees for Best Original Instrumental are A Brotherhood of Heroes from Call of Duty World War II Aloy's Theme from Horizon Zero Dawn Lontano from Wolvenstein II, The New Colossus. The Puppet Fiddler, from Moonlight Blade Online. Sugarland Shimmy, from Cuphead. Presenting for Best Original Instrumental is Brian Lee White from Finishing Move. Yeah. And the winner is... Horizon Zero Dawn, Ty. There's two names in this envelope. Call of Duty World War II. Come on up. say uh, 11 years ago me will Damien uh, we were here rookies we not seen a thing and um, we were welcomed in the community in a wonderful way and I've always enjoyed being here at GDC tremendously and to be standing here with will at the stage is like a dream come true so I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure yours might be slightly bummed um, <laughs> having to share it with him but I'm I'm um, yeah, I love this guy, and I only get to see him every once in a few years, and I'm so happy. This is amazing. Thank you so much, and thank you so much. I have nothing to add to that. <laughs> That's the happiest Thai acceptance speech I've ever heard. <laughs> so good. <laughs> and now we would like to thank another one of our fantastic Diamond sponsors. This time it's Formosa Interactive, and we'd like to invite Senior Vice President Paul Lipson to the stage uh, to accept our thank you and to watch a little video.
this is about you in this room. Um, this isn't about, this isn't about me. I've been a part of this organization for 16 years. Um, I think I gave Will Roger my only standing ovation at a demo derby about 11 years ago. Um, yeah, I'm getting old, it's true. Um, this is about supporting change. And I want you to talk to Dave, and I want you to talk to Becky. I want you to talk to Sally. And I want you to work with us to make this better. Because in the 16 years I've been a part of this organization, we have a chance to do it better. So let's put our money where our mouth is and make it better, okay? All right? Yeah. The nominees for Best VR Audio are... Why would one of us want to murder Nikola Tesla? The Invisible Hours. The man was a genius. I have my suspicions. And I will catch this killer. L.A. Noir, The VR Case Files. LAPD, put down your weapon. The bank is surrounded. Resident Evil 7, Biohazard. Rock Band VR. Star Wars. Droid Repair Bay. And to present for the Best VR Audio Award, we have Sally Kellaway, Chair of the VR Audio Award. Hello, everyone, again. Um, before I announce the, the winner of the VR Audio Award, which um, is in its first year this year, I want to um, thank um, all the support that I had to actually chair this award and actually make it happen. So first and foremost, Brian, for wherever he went, for inviting me the opportunity to execute this and to show uh, the gang's appreciation for awesome VR audio. Um, I'd also like to thank our judges who helped me, um, obviously, pick the winner. Um, and those people are uh, Robert Rice, uh, Stefan Schutz, Anastasia Devana, and Benedict Green. I'd also like to thank Pyramind for letting us take over their VR room for literally hours. And um, for Scott Selfon and Oculus for helping us out with some hardware as well. And with that said, the winner is... This is actually difficult. <laughs> Is it enough? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, that's good. The winner is Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. <laughs> I know that they're here tonight, um, and um, I really do hope that they're, they can come up to us afterwards and, and say thank you, because we really do appreciate them taking part. Thank you. It is fishbowl time again. Um, I would actually, you know, John and Crystal did a, such a good job with the fishbowl, I think we need to invite you back. So uh, we have two additional product sponsor giveaways. Uh, the first is Line 6. Uh, they make awesome stuff. I'm a bass player. I own lots of cool Line 6 stuff that keeps my feet busy when I'm playing. Um, unfortunately, uh, Barry could not be here today uh, for himself, but we will have a substitute. Five, seven, four. Helix LT guitar is what they're giving away, which is their full, about $2,000 value for their software version of Helix, which is incredible. And we've got one more. Uh, Stefan Schutz is also, uh, you all must uh, know him. He has been diligently putting up new videos on the gang website, tutorial videos, game analysis, interview videos. 
Uh, in addition, of course, he is the president of Sound Librarian, a sound effects uh, library company, in, in addition to about 95 other things that he does in game audio, in addition to being an author for his just public published book, New Realities in Audio, Practical Guide for VR, AR, MR, and 360 Video. So he has donated his complete SFX library, sound, effect, sound librarian sound effects catalog, $2,500 value, dollar value. He's one of these people that never goes anywhere without a recorder and has recorded amazing things all over the world, uh, including his native country of, uh, of Australia. So for a sound librarian and a copy of his book, 400. 400. 400. You have somebody? All right. So thanks again to all of our product giveaway sponsors. Uh, we really do appreciate it. And it's just kind of cool to, to win cool stuff. So this next award is one that uh, you know, we as officers uh, simply select. And what we do is try and figure out, is there somebody who has just sort of, you know, wowed people with something, with something new, somebody who's new in the industry. Um, and we've uh, called that category now Breakout Talent of the Year. And so we get together uh, and discuss it. And the Breakout Talent of the Year is for a composer who doesn't list himself as necessarily being a composer, but he did such amazing work on this um, really amazing game, although it's very hard. Um, we would like to award the Breakout Talent of the Year Award to Christopher Madigan. I really wish I could say I was Christopher Madigan, but I'm obviously not. Um, he unfortunately couldn't be here tonight because in addition to being just a marvelous composer, he is a prolific freelance percussionist in Toronto, and in fact, some of the performances on the soundtrack uh, were him for all of the ragtime percussion sections. Um, he had a couple people he wanted to thank for the soundtrack in particular. Chad, Jared, Maya, and Ryan at Studio MDHR. Jeremy Darby for his tireless engineering and mixing. John Herberman for teaching me everything I know about composing and arranging. Julianne Decourt and Adam King for all their help in the studio. All the amazing musicians who played on the soundtrack. My family, Carolyn, and the whole team at Studio MDHR. Lastly, I would like to thank all of the fans for their support and the folks at Gang for this recognition. Thank you. The nominees for Music of the Year are Call of Duty World War II Horizon Zero Dawn Rhyme. So let us melt. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Presenting for Music of the Year is Rachel Robinson last year's Gang Music Scholar. And the winner is Call of Duty World War II.
man, this guy is something else tonight. Uh, you know, seriously, it all started just a couple of years ago here at GDC, and, and Will and I literally had lunch in a, on a couple blocks off of the Moscone Center, and we were in this little restaurant, and we were talking about the possibility of working together on Call of Duty World War II, and he didn't even know it was World War II at the time. I couldn't tell him. Um, but, man, what an amazing talent, and what a great opportunity to work with Will. It's just really been awesome. Um, the, the, Sony, the Sony guys, I mean, holy cow, Anthony was spectacular to work with. The whole crew at Sony were, were amazing and just can't say enough about, I mean, it's such, such an awesome team. So seriously, great job, guys. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Um, most people don't know this, but I'm audio gang member number like 40 something. I, I've been here yeah. basically <laughs> forever since the very beginning. And this, <laughs> this is such a tremendous honor and I thank you so much. And if there's one thing that I have to say about the scoring of this project, more than any other score I've ever done, I worked really, really closely with the sound design and I can't say enough positive things about how unbelievably great this sound team is. So honestly, thank you guys. Uh, uh, thank you all so much. This is such a great night. And uh, much like Will and Anton, I came here um, seven years ago as kind of a music industry defector from LA and uh, the game industry, in particular audio and music, has just been so cool and welcoming and always a source of inspiration. Thanks to Sledgehammer and Dave for the great vision. Thanks to Will for the amazing writing. And uh, just glad to be a part of it. Thank you. The nominees for Best Gay Music Cover Remix are Bernard Electric from American Pixels Hero of Time from The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Hymn of the Firstborn Son from World of Warcraft Ovelia and Alida from Final Fantasy Tactics. Sword of Destiny from Witcher 3. And to present for Best Cover Remix, we have Caleb Klumperens. He's a, sorry, and he's a gang scholar, at, and he's at DigiPen. And the winner is... The Witcher 3, Sword of Destiny. met through our, you know, we're married by the way, Andrew and Jillian Aversa, <laughs> and we met through our mutual love of video game music. Um, back before we were even professionals, uh, we got into the, the video game community um, from remixing songs on Overclocked Remix, so we wanted to give a shout out to that community and also to another amazing community that has um, shown up over the last few years, Materia Collective. Um, and it's just, uh, it's just such a supportive, awesome community to be a part of. And um, what do you want to say? Also, just a, a thank you. She can't be here, but Kate oh, Covington, who played violin on the track, is, uh, is a wonderful musician. So uh, thank and, you to her, too. And to the original composer as well, um, Marcin P. We can't pronounce his last name. I'm so sorry. It's Polish. Um, but. 
it's an amazing soundtrack. If you haven't heard it, you should definitely check it out, Witcher 3. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. And now we'd like to thank one more diamond sponsor, our last for the evening. This one is a thank you to something. Um, here to accept <laughs> something. <laughs> Liza Salta will be coming up and accepting our thank you. Uh, and we'll also watch a little video. Hey guys, this is Nile Rogers here from the South by Southwest. And I just wanted to congratulate all of the winners and the nominees of this year's Gang Awards. You guys completely blow me away. You never stop amazing me with your prowess, your ingenuity, your cleverness, your ability to compose in one of the most sophisticated mediums in the world. And I'm proud to represent a lot of you. I'm thrilled that um, I had the smarts or maybe just the love to start one of the first music labels to represent you guys. And I'm really, really so super happy for you. Big love to you, congrats. I got a bunch of gang awards too. Um, I'm really honored to accept on behalf of Something Else Music as my husband Tom and I have had the privilege of uh, not only working with them but also knowing them really, really well. Um, I have a script here, uh, acceptance speech given to me by Billy Bell, which is their senior vice president of sales, and he has <clears throat> given me permission to read it in his signature New York accent. On behalf of Nal Rogers and the entire crew over at Something Else Music, we proudly accept this honor and recognition. We've been with Gang from the very beginning, 16 years. We want you to know our doors are always open to you guys. If you have music you'd like to get into the marketplace, don't hesitate to give us a call, or me a call. We'll take good care of you. <laughs> you know we do a fantastic job. Thank you. The nominees for Sound Design of the Year are Call of Duty, World War II. Halo Wars 2. Marines under assault from enemy ground forces. Hellblade. Behind you. Senwa's sacrifice. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Uncharted. The Lost Legacy. And to present for Sound Design of the Year, we have Molly Monahan, uh, again a gang scholar, and she's at the San Fran Conservatory of Music. All right, and the winner is Call of Duty World War II. I was sitting there thinking there's no way that, that that group of nominees is just spectacular and literally each one of them are are teams that we really look up to and we aspire to be like so to be here it's, it's just really an honor I have to thank just what I think it's just the greatest sound design team in the industry I love all of these guys they work such hard hours and long hours hard nights it was it was a it was a a lot of love went into the project, but a lot of sweat and tears. And I just love you guys and can't thank you enough. So thank you very much.
this, yeah. <laughs> this is our lead sound designer, Michael Kaisley. Um, not much to really add, thank you. Um, hats off to these guys who um, not only just earned my respect, but fucking deserved it. They're awesome. <laughs> and wow, holy shit. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> we'll edit that in the mix. Yeah. So I would like to take a few minutes to explicitly thank all of our sponsors, as I said, uh, through um, financial donations, through time donations, through support, through products or services or people or resources. Uh, it really helps uh, make gain possible. Obviously, our diamond sponsors, Something Else Music Works. I don't know about you, but I don't. That video from Niall was amazing. Um, Crywear. Thank you so much for joining, uh, joining the fold and, st and stepping up for most interactive and, spit and Spitfire Audio. Our platinum sponsors are Video Games Live, Music Marketing. Our gold sponsors are Steinberg Yamaha, awesome in the industry. Uh, Game Sound Con? Uh, GDC, thank you so much for continuing to support us year after year and, and providing a space for us to have the awards. Pyramine for all of the work that you do and the space that you give us and the time you give us and letting us use you as a P.O. box for the awards. Um, <laughs> Defiant Public Relations, of, of the Silver Level, Sound Librarian, Dolby, always a huge supporter of interactive audio, SFCM, San Francisco Conservatory of Music, Fabric, uh, D16 Group Audio, Fab Filter, Sugar Bites, KV331 Audio, Sonable, at the bronze level, the APM, Digipen, 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 Isotope, <laughs> oh shoot, I teach there. <laughs> Isotope, Ocean Way Nashville, McDSP, one of the first companies to get, pro audio, audio effects companies to get into the game industry, thank you. Sony, Tencent, Line 6, Krotos and Gigantic, who we met in person. At the patron sponsor level, ASCAP, Sennheiser, Dan Rudin Recording and Production, Hexany uh, Audio, Wheel Crafter, John Rod Music, Materia Collective, and the SCL, Society of Composers and Lyricists. If anybody from any of those organizations are there, please stand up. And thank you so much for your support. This next award is very special. I first, uh, obviously once a year, we find somebody who has contributed over a very long career, a career of a lifetime. And uh, I met this individual for the first time, I think we decided it was 1994 at a Sega DevCon in London. Uh, he's a multiple award, award winning BAFTA and Ivor Novello nominated composer for film, TV and games. Classically trained trombone. I didn't know he was a low brass player until recently. Trombonist, pianist, and percussionist. He was awarded a scholarship by the Junior Royal Academy of, Academy of Music in London in 1985. He was hired on by Sega in Europe in 1994 as an in-house composer. His breakthrough score for Headhunter sent a new benchmark for interactive media. It was the first video game soundtrack to re record with A-list musicians at the world famous Abbey Road Studios. Uh, we gave him the Gang Recognition Award at the first Gang Award show in 2003. That was a long time ago. Um, he's lectured at Berkeley Coll College of Music in Valencia, the City University, London's Bath Spa University, Royal Academy of, of, Academy of Music. He has received an honorary doctorate from the University of Essex in 2013 for services to music and media. Served on the board of directors of the British Academy of Composers, Songwriters, Authors, Game Audio Network Guild, and currently sits on the commercial advisory board for PRS for Music. It is my extreme honor to present the Lifetime Achievement Award to Richard Jakes.
making me, uh, making me feel old. Um, I know it's getting late, so I just want to say a few quick words and thank yous. Um, this is probably my 22nd GDC. Um, I think my first was down in Long Beach when um, some of us had a bit more hair. Um, and that was even before Gang was invented, and it's uh, you know, fantastic to see the community grow and educate and innovate and celebrate. Um, it's, you know, it's a fantastic um, community to be a part of. Um, you know, it's, it's you guys, um, your, your music, your audio, your sound, your mixing, your dialogue, your stories, it's, it's, that's what inspires me to do what I do. And when I do get a couple of hours off from the studio, I play all of your games and just, just look at the nominees and winners tonight. It's, it's amazing to see how much the industry has come since I started doing my first game in Hex in 1994. Um, thank God we don't have to do that anymore. Um, thank you to all the amazing music supervisors and audio directors that have hired me. Um, it's been amazing working with such talent. Um, if you haven't, then um, see me after class. Um, just a couple of thanks to, thank yous um, to my publishers, Gregor Connor reed and my agent, Cheryl Tiano. Um, you guys really look after me. Um, but thank you to Gang. Um, this is a huge, huge honour. Um, Brian and I go way back when I was playing his amazing soundtrack to Crew Ball on the Genesis. Um, you knew I'd get it in, didn't you? Um, but this means the world to me, so thank you so much. Have a great night. The nominees for Audio of the Year are Cuphead, Hellblade, Senwa's Sacrifice. This power to destroy me. You will die here. No. And all your suffering will have been for nothing. The massacre was only the beginning. Horizon Zero Dawn. Who did this to us? We have to find the killers. So you will have to leave the sacred land. Where the trail leads. I will go. You wish to see me, sir? Star Wars Battlefront 2. The Emperor is dead. So what happens now? We retaliate. to take unnecessary risks. We. Uncharted, The Lost Legacy. This is my gig. You want your share? We play by my rules. Sorry, baby. What took you so long? Had to catch a train, love. I think I'll do this one. So, the winner is Cuphead. Again, I, I super wish this was my award, but this is uh, shared, of course, by Chris Madigan and then the sound design team at Sweet Justice Sound, Luke Hatton, Michael Benzie, Chris Sweetman, Jack Rayburn, Samuel Justice, Joe Hudson, and Hannah Marsh. Um, I'm sure Chris Madigan thanks all the same people as before, so consider yourselves thanked. And uh, congratulations to all of the nominees, and have a great night. Yeah, what an amazing sounding game. Uh, we're just about there. Uh, before we go any farther, I would like to thank a couple of people in particular. They've been sort of sneakily doing things without being seen. Uh, Emily Pitts and Colin Grant, come on out here. Yeah. Come on up. You may have noticed them secretly feeding us awards as, uh, as the show has been going on. So thank you very much. They had to sit through the dress rehearsal with us last night. So thank you so much, Emily and Colin, for, for helping us out. Um, uh, 
them. I'd also like to thank uh, Brian D. Domenico, Mark Gritsky, uh, Sean White, our amazing video person who's working the magic back there. Uh, Savina Chamarillo and Liza, please stand up. Thank you so much for all the work that, that you've done for the show. Um, also, Tom Salta, who could not be here. Also, anybody who has worked on the music committees or VR committees, please stand up. Thank you so much for all the behind the scenes and mixed committees. These are the people who work very, very hard behind the scenes also. Um, also, Tom Salt, uh, uh, John McDonald, and Guy Whitmore worked very, very hard with us this year to help um, finesse the award shows. Sally, Sally Ann Kellaway, the Mix Review Committee, VR Committee, all of our presenters, thank you so much. And finally, uh, for me, thank you so much, um, Becky, Bonnie, and Dave, for uh, all the things that you do for Gang and for the award show tonight. Come on up. We also have one last thing. So officers, please come up. It's a little bit of a surprise. We're going off script. Off script, off script. here we go. Hi, Brian. Hi. <laughs> it's my honor to present this next award. This person has worked countless hours over the last several years. His dedication, commitment, and passion for gang is only surpassed by his generous donations. We have a deep appreciation for him, for his talent and vision, which has enabled Gang to thrive and grow. So, on behalf of the entire Game Audio Network Guild, we're proud to present the Extraordinary Leadership and Service Award to our president, Brian Schmidt. Thank you so much. Um, it's not on the script. I don't know what to do. Um, no, uh, it's such an amazing community that we have here. Uh, I'm honored and, and thrilled to, to help see, uh, you know, I've been in this industry for a little over 30 years and seen it change and seen the people change and just the amazing amount of talent that is in this room inspires me every single day to do what I do, and the people around me just make this, this job so very, very easy. So thank you to everybody who I've ever said hello to or met uh, throughout. <laughs> um, uh, everybody, uh, and thank you also, uh, my wife and family, uh, for supporting me for all these years. So thank, thanks so much. This, this wasn't on the script. Surprise. Um, with that, I officially declare the Gang Awards 2018 closed. Let's go have something to drink. Yeah.